welcome to the Mortgage Minute for August, Monday, August 9th. Okay, so today I'm looking at some of the headlines. I also got to thinking, you know, uh, here's one headline that says, HST chilling home sales. Yeah, we kind of expected that. You know, we know that the HST was going to come in. Interesting, they state that it's not the fact that we have HST, it's the miss conception or the misinterpretation of the rules. In other words, consumer confidence lags because they're misinformed. Another one uh, talks about yield curves should shed light. Basically, the yield cure curve is dropping. That means your long-term rates have more room to drop. In other words, I don't think we're going to see much of a rise in rates. More so, we're going to see long-term rates come down. But that's not what I want to talk about today. What I really want to talk about is the fact that as consumers, we're, we've got lots of information out there in the marketplace telling us this is going to happen, that's going to happen. The fact is, none of us really know what the future holds. So here's my advice to everybody today. We're in a market where we could have a double dip recession, and let's put it this way. If we had a repeat of 2009, let me ask you, how would that impact you, your real estate, and your family's budget? If uh, suddenly we had instability in the, in the real estate markets, instability in the job markets, let me, let me put it this way. I think it's a time that everybody should take advantage of the continuing low rates and pay down debt. That's the biggest point I want to make is that we are in a market environment where anything can happen and it's impossible to predict. Therefore, it's prudent for you to take advantage of today's low interest rates and pay off debt faster than you ever have. Now, let me give you three simple tips on how you can accelerate your debt reduction. Number one, the really simple one, you know, we always talk about changing your monthly payments to bi-weekly. Well, my question is, are you doing that? So change it to bi-weekly. Not only do you move from 12 minutes... 12 monthly payments to 24, which would be doubling it, but it actually ends up being 26 bi-weekly payments over the course of a year. Those extra two payments go right off your mortgage and you don't have to pay any interest on it. The second one is round up your payments. If you've got an oddball mortgage payment right now of $1,166, Bump it up to $1,200 or $1,300 or $1,400. Whatever your family budget can afford, bump up, round up your payments. Again, the extra money goes right off your principal balance. And the last one, of course, is at the end of every year, you're allowed up to 20% prepayment uh, options. So take advantage of that. Whatever your family budget can afford, I'm going to encourage you, sit down with your spouse or your family, whoever you are, and just analyze what can my budget afford and accelerate the debt reduction on your mortgage. If you have a portfolio, accelerate the debt reduction on all your mortgages to the point, but not to the point that it creates negative cash flow. But at the end of the day, if we are hit with a double dip or we are hit with a second wave of what we saw in 2008, 2009, be prepared, take advantage of these low rates, and pay down your debt. That's the Mortgage Minute for Monday, August 9th.